Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to apply the um, Groomsman decal to your beer stein. You don't have to use a beer stein. You could use um, a regular glass. You could use a Pilsner glass. Pretty much anything that's large enough to fit the decal will work. Any smooth, clean surface, these will stick to plastic, acrylic, glass, anything. These big, huge beer stains I find at the Dollar Tree. They weigh about two pounds a piece. They're thick, they're heavy. Um, they're just great because, I mean, a dollar. You can't beat that for a dollar. So you will need a few supplies. Um, I like to use a rolled up t-shirt to help stabilize my cup, my glass. You'll need your decal. I use a squeegee. You certainly don't have to go buy one of these. You can if you want. They're usually located at the craft store it, uh, where you where the silhouettes or the crickets are. Um, certainly do not have to go buy one of these. It will not make or break your project. You can use a credit card. You could use a ruler, anything that has a flat end um, that you can help, you know, apply your decal will work just fine. So the first thing um, that I always recommend doing, and again, you don't have to do this. Um, I just recommend it because it's going to give you um, a nice clean surface. Take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and a cotton ball or paper towel, whatever you have, and just go over the area you're going to put the decal. And this is going to ensure you have a nice clean surface. We want our decal to adhere, um, you know, as well as possible, just so that it, you, you know, it lasts longer. I do use high grade vinyl that has been graded for outside signage. So um, it has to withstand sun and rain and wind and weather. Um, it's pretty durable. It, it's graded for outside use for, um, I believe, eight years. Um, I do still recommend hand washing only, however, because it has not been graded to have, you know, super hot water blasted at it and different washers will have different uh, water temperatures and different water pressures and I just can't guarantee um, if it would hold up or not. Some it might, some it might not. So hand washing is always recommended with these. All right, so um, I always send these to you pre-rubbed and ready to apply, but I always recommend just going over it one more time just to make sure everything is sticking really well to the transfer tape. So what I like to do, I just find that it makes it a little easier, is I like to take a rolled up towel or t-shirt um, and it just helps stabilize the glass so it's not rolling away and you don't have to try and hold the handle while you're trying to apply your decal. This just makes a really nice stable surface. So what we're going to do is you'll notice the back side of the paper has a grid, the front side looks like masking tape. Um, what we're removing is the paper with the grid. So you're going to slowly peel back your paper from your transfer tape. You want to make sure everything is sticking to the tape. If there's anything that's still stuck to the paper, you're going to want to push it down and just go over it again and make sure, you know, that everything is sticking really well to the tape. So now that we've got our paper off, we're ready to apply it to our glass. So all you're going to do is line it up where you want it. I always, always recommend starting in the middle and working your way out to the sides. This will give you the smoothest application so you don't have bubbles or folds, wrinkles, anything like that. So you're going to take your squeegee or your credit card or your ruler, whatever you have on hand, and you're just going to go back over it. Make sure it's just really stuck down well. Okay. So the last step is just taking the transfer tape off. You're going to want to really do this slowly because if anything is lifting with the transfer tape, you're going to want to be able to catch it fast enough to push it back down if you have to. If you get going too fast and you don't notice something isn't sticking, um, you can very easily rip the letter right in half and then your project is kind of ruined. So you're just gonna go really slowly, make sure everything is sticking well. And that is it. So, you know, your decal's under $2, your glass is a dollar, takes about a minute of time to get it on there. 
and you have a really fun personalized gift, uh, fun keepsake and fun to use at your wedding.